first time I knew I was different, I was just a little girl. There was this boy I really liked. One day, I finally got up the courage to tell him. He pushed me down in the mud. He called me ugly. I've been alone ever since, always waiting and hoping for that certain someone to come my way. I remember right after college, all my friends with their perfect boyfriends and their society weddings. Every time one of those bitches got hitched, I'd freak. Eventually, they had to put me on meds just to calm me down. But then one day, in the asylum, I had a visitor. The gentleman's name was Calypso. He said if I won his game, I'd never have to be alone again. He said he knew where I could find my true love. How could I refuse an offer like that? After all, no one as pretty as me deserves to be alone. I was asleep for hours, dreaming about weddings. In fact, one very special wedding. I was one of the bridesmaids as usual. My friend Kristen, she was the one getting married. Can you believe what she did? She actually had the nerve to throw the bouquet to me, that little bitch. Looking back, I'm not sure it was such a good idea to come off my medication. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. You're just an ugly fat cow. <laughs> I think that day, my heart just snapped in two. And I think my mind did the same. So I grabbed the closest thing I could find. And then I wasn't really sure what I did. If I wasn't going to have a man, than no one was. I dragged Kristen's fat, ugly body into one of the dressing rooms and bolted the door. Standing there in Kristen's dress, I realized I was the most beautiful bride I had ever seen. When I win this contest, Calypso will find me a man who thinks so too. I'm sure there were quite a few sour faces in town when all the girls learned I'd won the contest. I demanded my prize from Calypso. I wanted to meet my true love. Calypso delivered. It was my darling, my sweetheart, and he was gorgeous. Calypso told me he had to make a few modifications, but what man doesn't need a little adjusting here and there? As he held me in his big, strong arms, he leaned in to whisper something in my ear. To this day, I still can't believe what he said. I will never love you. My god, I was so close. But this wasn't my true love at all. He wasn't anything like the man I thought he was. Certainly not good enough for a girl like me. My Prince Charming is out there. I know he is, and I'll find him. Even if I have to go through each and every man, one at a time.